nothing can make me happier than to have my two medalists back into Morgantown. Uh, they couldn't wait to get back home to their U.S. home. Um, first took a stop to Toronto to uh, see family and friends, and, you know, they're real excited to be back, but uh, their West Virginia family is really excited to have you both. So welcome home. Thank you. Uh, to both of you right now, how are you managing your legs at this point in the minutes that you anticipate you'll play at the university level? Um, it's definitely all about recovery, like hydration, ice baths, massages, foam rolling, and just rolling out your legs. I think that's much all you can do, and just even in practice, just managing how much you run during that day. So. Did you learn anything from the World Cup experience that you took over to the Olympics in terms of managing that? Um. Well, yeah, I think the World Cup and Olympics are very different in their setup. We had a lot of time in between games, whereas Olympics, it was such a quick turnaround. It was like two to three games. So again, just like uh, Kadisha said, those high performance behaviors, getting recovery in, making sure we're sleeping, hydrating, um, which will allow us to perform at the optimal level every game consistently. When did you guys leave Rio? Were you able to stay for the closing <coughs> ceremonies or the culture? Yeah, so our last game was on that Friday, and we flew in the next day to Rio. So we were there for the closing ceremonies. Um, yeah, we were, there, we were able to celebrate with our team, just the bronze medal. Uh, and then, yeah, it was like a day later we flew back home to spend time with our family. How did the, the closing ceremonies com compare to the opening ceremonies? Was it still the same kind of rush going on there? We well, our first game was on August 3rd, and the opening ceremony was August 5th in a different city. So, unfortunately, we didn't go to opening ceremonies, but we went to the closing. Yeah. What, what was that like for you, walk, walking in there? Um, uh, well, I mean, it was, like, amazing. You know, I mean, the closing ceremonies, you know, it's always fun, but to have a medal around your neck, that just makes it that much better. And, again, we had that opportunity to celebrate with our team, um, and just walking with other Canadian athletes and seeing other athletes, um, it was just an overall celebration. It was really fun. The first couple of days after the medal ceremony, did you did you find yourself like you just kept looking at that medal? Were you thinking, like, you know, is this real? I really have an Olympic medal here. What was that? Thing yeah, it's here? definitely always when you find yourself on your downtime, on time. It's like that self reflect. And even when you wake up and just like kind of like glimpse, glimpse yourself in the mirror, you're like, I'm an Olympian, like, and I'm a bronze medalist. So it's that feeling you get. Um, it's definitely amazing. And I know we're both looking for more medals to come. A lot of the, the games are, are fairly neutral in terms of crowd. What was that bronze medal atmosphere uh, like for you during that game? I mean, four out of our six games were played in Sao Paulo. So. I mean, every game we played, whether whatever the opponent was, it was always like a sold-out crowd, crazy atmosphere. But I mean, against Brazil, the host nation, um, it was just that much more intense. Um, you know, it was so loud uh, for us. They, you could hear a pin drop, like when we scored. Yeah. Whereas, like any type of move they made, like Marta when she had the ball, they were just going crazy. So, I mean, they had that energy behind them, but we kind of used that to our motivation you know, just to silence the crowd and, you know, just get those goals in one at a time. Did either one of you come up against Marta before? Or is this You've been up against Marta quite a few times. Like, I think for me, maybe my fifth. But we played them twice, three times this year. Yeah before the bronze medal match. Yeah, and for me it was a bit different. I mean, we've played Brazil, but I was in like midfield. So again, in this game I was left back and I was like directly like defending her. So that was a bit of a adjustment. I knew it was going to be a challenge, but yeah, it was like a battle, like a 1v1 battle between me and her. So. Is there one moment for you actually that stood out in this whole Olympic experience even as you look back on all of it now? That um, I mean, there's so many moments, but, you know, I just think about how we started the tournament, our first game. Uh, we went down a player early on, and I think just our resilience to fight till the end whistle and get that result, that was big for us. And I think, you know, just, that just speaks volumes of, 
you know, our team character. Um, and then just at the end, uh, again, it was a crazy atmosphere. We knew it was going to be a challenge against Brazil, but, you know, we stepped up. Uh, everyone had their role. And, yeah, I think for me, just that first goal when it went in, um, it was just like a relief for our team. Um, and then we, were, we just knew that we had the momentum uh, to win this game. How about you, Keisha? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of moments again for that shed, but um, I think for me, the biggest one is how in the semifinal we lost against Germany. And obviously, like, we're all devastated about the loss because we wouldn't be in the finals, but the way the team managed to overcome that and, and win a bronze medal, I think that was one of my most memorable moments, is how the team came together um, to achieve a goal that we wanted. Think when you're watching it on TV, what are you not able to see that you'd like to see from your viewpoint, just in terms of, of television viewership? You're not seeing it live, and you can't see the full 22, so what are you, what are you really missing whenever you're kind of watching it? I mean, when you're at the game, you get to see the whole game, and you get to see where every, all, everybody's movements are. Um, you know, so that that's what I miss. I miss seeing what they're doing off the ball, but also what they're doing on the ball because obviously I'm their biggest fan next to their family. Um, so that's what I miss. I just miss the flow and the, the feel of the game and to, to be there and to support them. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I get to see it a lot. And I already told them I got to rewatch the games because, you know, it's, it's important for me to just watch them. Um, you know, but I, I wish I was there just to see it, the whole, the whole field, just not different moments. When they're on the spring, do you find yourself still coaching them from your living room, or? You know? Um, I, you know, I'm just cheering really loud because I know s such their strengths. So I just know, you know, when Ashley got that incredible assist in the obviously bronze medal game, you know, we just know that she's so capable of that, and and when she plays free and does those things, it's just incredible. And obviously, when Keisha. You know, is running down a defender. I feel or an attacker. I feel sorry for her. Um, you know, because she just has such this closing speed. So I mean, we'll, and both of them have such great strengths. So I'm definitely cheering because I know what they're going to do, and and I'm just hoping that they um, are capable of playing um, and enjoying what they're doing and playing to their strengths. Actually, what, what was your interaction like with your teammates here during this experience? Um, I mean, it was pretty active, uh, you know, throughout the tournament, uh, they were always sending messages, you know, we, we may not have always communicated directly, but I definitely felt them, uh, just their support and encouragement, um, you know, some individual players or even just as a team, we have like a group message, so yeah, I think just overall the support have, has been incredible, um, and even just online from random people from West Virginia. Um, it's just been amazing just to see and feel like their spirit there in Brazil. How about for you, Keisha? I mean, I think Ashley said it for us um, both. Um, definitely different athletes, even here, and different um, people from West Virginia just um, social meeting us and telling us good luck and that they're making our state proud. So it's definitely cool to see those messages and obviously from the teammates. Um, he definitely said a few words, and and yeah, it's all around. I think we had a lot of support from here. I, I will say too, right before the Penn State game, uh, both of them sent us a video, you know, wishing the girls well. So that was real special, even though they shouldn't have been on their phones. Um, <laughs> it was, it was, it was, you know, it's a hard time for both both teams and both individual players uh, because their focus is, you know, a little bit different, but. I do think the country of West Virginia definitely was cheering for uh, for you guys too. We've heard both good and bad come from the, the Rio experience. What did you guys take away from that? Um, it was all ups for me. Um, I didn't know the situation in Rio, but we weren't in Rio, so I think we had our own nice little area outside um, in different cities. So can't really comment on Rio itself, but overall, my experience. And like logistics and everything were great. Where did they put you, you guys, up as a team? In Sao Paulo? Mm -hmm. Were you we living in a hotel? Or yeah. Were yeah, we were just in hotels, like, because we traveled to different places Sao Paulo, Brasilia, Belo Horizonte, and then Rio. But we were mostly in hotels.
what do you uh, do? You, one of you has your medal here today, or what? What are you going to do with your? How uh, are you going to keep them here? Simply by timing for now. Or? Yeah, I don't know. For me, I don't have mine here because I wanted it to be at home. But yeah, I think just in a secure place, you know, where it's just like protected, and I don't have to like, like walk around with it or like. I think we definitely be in a safe place. Just hope to get us some company in four years. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> That's the goal. Yeah. You guys played a, a little bit later, but <clears throat> were you able to watch any of Jenny Thrasher's performance? Did you take anything from that? Did the rifle, gold medalist for WV? Yeah, um, not as much. In Brazil, like, they mostly played, like, Brazilian sports. Like, I, we all miss, like, Canadian sports that like, we wanted to watch as well. But um, well, I always kept follow, following her, and it's amazing I want to meet her. Um, so when that time comes, I definitely congratulate her.